Welcome to our lecture online. Sometimes you get an expression that doesn't look like you can simplify it at all, especially when it looks like this. We have radicals with fractions inside of them, and then here you can see that on the bottom we have a 5. There's no way you can take the square root of 5. And here you have the square root of 20 in the numerator. What do you do with that? Well, the first thing we probably should do is separate the numerators from the denominators and rewrite it like that. So this can be written as 2 times the square root of 5 divided by the square root of 4 minus 10 times the square root of 1 divided by the square root of 5 plus 3 times the square root of, and now in the case of the square root of 20, you might want to write it as 4 times 5 because you can indeed take the square root of 4. Here you can also take the square root of 4, so let's go ahead and simplify those parts already. So here we have 2 times the square root of 5 divided by 2, because the square root of 4 is 2, minus 10 times, well the square root of 1 is simply 1, divided by the square root of 5, and here we have the square root of 4, which is 2, so plus 3 times 2 times the square root of 5. Now at least I take a look at here and take a look at that and go, well, here we have something where they're alike, but here we still have a problem. But now what we're going to do is we're going to simplify 2 divided by 2, which is 1, so we get the square root of 5 minus 10 times 1 over the square root of 5. Now here we have a radical in the denominator. We want to get rid of that radical. So what we're going to do is we're going to multiply both the numerator and the denominator by the square root of 5. By doing so, we get rid of the radical in the denominator, and as an added bonus, look, we have the square root of 5 in the numerator in both terms. Over here, 3 times 2, which would be plus 6 times the square root of 5. Continue to simplify that some more, and I think I'm missing some equal signs, so let me put some equal signs in. Equals. So now we have the square root of 5 minus 10 divided by the square root of 5 times the square root of 5 is simply 5, and then we still have the square root of 5 in the numerator, and then plus 6 times the square root of 5. And then if we simplify this some more, we get this equal to the square root of 5 minus 2 times the square root of 5 plus 6 times the square root of 5. And finally, after we did what? We first wrote in a way where we can factor out, or at least write some of these as whole numbers rather than radicals, the square root of 4, and the square root of 4, that becomes 2 and 2. And here we can see that to get rid of the square root of 5 in the denominator, we multiply both the top and the bottom, the numerator and the denominator, by the square root of 5 to get rid of the radical in the denominator. And then when we look at it, we have every term that contains the square root of 5. So now we can simply and to subtract them, so we have 1 plus 67 minus 2 gives you 5 times the square root of 5. And there you go. That's the simplified form of that initial expression. As you can tell, initially you may not have realized that, yes, you can indeed add them, but you do have to work out a little bit to simplify, manipulate it, and use the technique of taking, getting rid of the radical in the denominator. And that is how it's done.